Here's meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. It is 617 on our Thursday. If you need to wash the car, maybe you've been to the mountains, you got some dust covering the windshield on the back of the car. I tell you what, you might be okay to do it today, but I want you to understand all your hard work might be undone from Friday on into the weekend as we've got rain and storms coming our way, especially Saturday and Sunday, but still a slim chance even as early as tomorrow evening that all that hard work you do today might be undone. So if you don't mind washing it again, maybe next week, go ahead. Now, as far as our future precipitation goes, the potential out there over the next several days, speaking of that rain, look at the numbers we're looking at. We could have over an inch of rain in some of our central and west central mountain locations. This is at least through Saturday, maybe into Sunday. We could have higher numbers than this. Most of this, unfortunately, though, will come down in bursts, these downpours of rain, which when you put that on top of very dry, parched uh, ground, around burn scars in particular, steep terrain, flash flooding very quickly becomes a big concern. So rain and flooding, the biggest threats for the weekend will also though have wind and lightning coming in because not only do we have a disturbance that will push moisture our way and create these bursts of rain, we also have thunderstorms that will be triggered as well, bringing in their own rounds of rain, gusty winds and lightning strikes as well. So a very busy weekend forecast, one where if you have outdoor plans, you may want to keep an eye on the sky and head indoors at a moment's notice as we will have widespread scattered showers and storms off and on all day Saturday and Sunday across the area. We did have some rain very early this morning across the Magic Valley that has for the most part tapered off. There is a possibility later today around Fairfield points to the north, maybe around Sun Valley and off to the east. So carry northeastward. We may have a few more isolated storms, much like what played out yesterday. For the most part, though, across the western half of our viewing area, hot and hazy will continue to be the trend. The surge of moisture coming in today, not all that impressive, but what comes in late Friday into Saturday and Sunday will be much more significant. So today, temperatures will be the big headline. We'll likely see some triple digit readings for your Thursday afternoon west of Nampa and Caldwell. So out towards Ontario, Vail, Weezer, maybe Emmett, 100 to 104 for those areas, 99 in Caldwell for opening day of the Canyon County Fair. That is toasty, 99 in Boise, possibly right at the century mark from Mountain Home with mostly sunny skies overhead. Still a little bit of haze at the surface, but our smoke forecast in general is improving, and especially over the weekend as we have those storms and the disturbance coming in, we will see a lot of that smoke, at least temporarily, get blown out of the picture, and temperatures will drop over the weekend as well. 90 in McCall today, 91 around Cascade. We'll see mid-80s for Stanley and Sun Valley with sun and clouds overhead, so outside of the storm channel, is a pretty pleasant day around Sun Valley, Ketchum and Haley. 93 for Twin Falls and Shoshone today, 91 in Burley. Mostly sunny in the Magic Valley, but with patchy smoke. So tomorrow looks almost identical. We see a very slim storm chance pop into the picture late Friday. Look at your weekend, though. Temperatures will dip. We've got much more comfortable afternoons coming our way temperature-wise. In fact, 83 by Sunday, but Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday, we do have those widespread scattered shower and storm chances.